All right, within this video, we are going to have a look at um, actually verifying before we um, try to insert a rectangle that what we have selected is actually an artboard and not something else like a rectangle where you actually can't um, insert a rectangle. So if I were to select this rectangle, for example, and clicked on my command, um, nothing visible would happen because, of course, a rectangle isn't a group node, so it can't contain any children within it as compared to an artboard, which of course our plugin is intended for, um, where when we run our command, as expected, we can just insert a child node into it. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple, and we'll just add this to our create rectangle function. And all we really need to do is to surround um, all our code with a simple if statement. And um, the only thing we really have to check for is if this artboard object here actually is of the type artboard. And since artboard is a class and artboard, if everything's all right, is an instance of that class, we can just use JavaScript's built-in instance of um, keyword to check if this is an instance of the artboard class. And if it is, we can just run our code basically as expected. And um, if it isn't, of course, we will uh, somehow have to handle this differently. But um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at what we want to do if this isn't the case. But at least now we only run our code within um, But at least now we only run our code when we actually can create the rectangle and don't let um, Adobe XD run into any errors by um, trying to do things that are actually impossible. Um, while we don't have any real user interactivity yet, um, we will handle this a bit later in the workshop, um, we will just um, print a simple error to the developer console just to give the user at least some feedback that maybe something didn't quite go as planned. And so we'll just um, lock to the error console that whatever we got wasn't really an artboard and we'll just um, print the artboard uh, with it to um, give some additional details, so to speak. And now that we have done that, um, back in Adobe XD, if we run this command just on our regular artboard, as you can see, of course, everything still works because uh, if we take a look back at our code, yes, artboard is an instance of our artboard, so we just run our code as before. But if we actually select something different than an artboard, it looks like nothing else is happening. But if we then take a look um, at the logs from our plugin, um, we should be able to see, and yes, here it is, that actually we now went into this else branch within our source code. So instead of running all of this, we now uh, just ran this code and um, locked that it is not an artboard what got selected. And yes, it is not an artboard because apparently we have selected a rectangle, which of course isn't um, what this was intended to do. And of course, in your real plugin, you will now want to add some user feedback to that. And as I've said, we will do this at a later stage when we will add a panel back to our plugin. But for now, um, it is at least much better to um, lock a useful message to the console instead of basically just running, leaving XD to crash our plugin in some ways. And um, you could, of course, run any code you'd like in there and provide some better user feedback, however you see fit. This also now is another checkpoint. So if you, for whatever reason, haven't been able to follow along, just copy the files from the step four selection check folder um, to your plugin folder, and you should be at the same um, step that we are now in in our workshop 
and in the next video we're actually going to make some magic happen and create our actual checkerboard pattern which of course is the essence of the plugin we want to build. So I'll see you in the next video.